Good day, grade 10. Welcome to your first lesson in week number 24. Today we're learning about finance and growth. And the first thing that we're going to be teaching you about, or I'm going to be talking to you about, is simple interest. So let's introduce the idea of simple interest. Basically, a simple interest is interest that is calculated only on the initial amount of the loan. So in other words, let's say for example, you go to John and you say to him, I would like to loan 10 Rand and he says, okay, I will charge you 10% interest on that loan. That means he's going to charge you 1 Rand on that loan. It doesn't matter for how long you, ch you loan it for or whatever else he's going to charge you just on that 10 Rand. However, it gets a little bit more complicated because some banks will charge you simple interest, which is only on the initial amount of money loaned, okay, but they still charge you that 10% of interest per month. So we're going to look at an example like that. And most of our examples are going to be like that. So let's have a look. The formula for simple interest is A is equal to P 1 plus I to the N where your A is your amount. In other words, that's the total amount of money that you're going to owe the bank or John or whomever after several couple of months. P is the principal. So that's the original amount of money that you loan. Okay, so P is the principal. I is the interest and it's always written as a decimal. So for example, 10% would be 0. 0.1. Why? Because we go 10 divided by 100 to get it into a decimal. And n is the number of years. Now, in these simple examples, we'll be talking only about payments per year and or interest per year. So therefore, that is why n is the number of years. But if you get to more complicated examples where the interest is calculated per month or per day, the n is basically the number of times you would pay interest. Okay, so let's look at an example. So before I even read this example, the, what I like to do is I like to write down my formula. So let me do that over here. In fact, I'm going to do the top, so I've got space. A is equal to P1 plus IN. The reason I like to do that is that I can see what my variables are and what I need to work out. Okay, so it says Janine deposits 500 rand, 500 rand into a savings account, which pays a simple interest of 8% per annum for four years. How much will she have in her account at the end of the four years? Okay, so let's do this. We've got A, P, I, and N. These are your four variables in our equation. Now, first of all, she says that she deposits 500 Rand into our savings. Now, when I give an example of the simple interest, I spoke about a loan, but it works just the same as with the savings account. And the principal, which is your original amount, is the amount of money we've originally put into that savings account. So this year is 500. Your principal is 500. The interest is 8%. So in order to get this into decimal, what do we do? We go 8 divided by 100, which is going to be 0, 0, 8. So the interest is 0, 0, 8, and the number of years is 4. And what do we want to know? We want to know how much, what is the amount of money she will have out at the end. Right, so let's put this in our equation. A is the principal, which is 500, times by 1 plus 0 0.08 times by 4. And now we need a calculator. So let me whip out my calculator. Okay, and bring it over here. And let's just clear it. Okay, so let's do this on our calculator. So we've got 500 times by bracket 0 delete 1 plus bracket 0, 0, 8 times 4 close that bracket and then close the other one and we'll get an answer so our amount of money is 660 rand that means at the end of the four years Janine will get in or get out of her savings account 660 rand okay let's look at another example this time it says, how much did Peter invest if he has invested for four years? 
After the four years, his investment is worth 5,000 Rand and the interest rate is 5% per annum simple interest. Right, so the first thing that we need to do is write down our equation. So again, we have that A is equal to P bracket 1 plus I N. Right, and the variables are A, P, I and N. So this time they're asking us, how much did Peter invest? In other words, they want to know what was Peter's principal? How much did he invest? He invested it for four years and his interest rate was 5% per annum. So that becomes 5 divided by 100, which becomes 0, 0,05. And what did he end up with? He ended up with a total of 5,000 Rand. Right, so let us substitute this into our formula. So we've got 5,000 is equal to the principal 1 plus 0 0.05 times by 4. So again, we're going to use our calculator. So let me get it out. There it is. And what is, what do we have to do first? I personally would suggest that we do this bit first. We're going to work out what that is. So we're going to go 1 plus bracket 0 0.05 times 4 close bracket and that equals to 1.2. So that means that we've got 5,000 is equal to 1.2 times P. So to get rid of the 1.2, leave the P by itself and as we're saving for the principal, we're going to divide both sides by 1.2 and we pop out our calculator again and we say 5,000 divided by 1.2 and we get 4,166 rand and 67 cents. 4,166 rand and 67 cents. So that was Peter's investment. Peter's investment. Right, okay, I know it isn't a weird investment, but that's what he did. Right, let's look at a final example. Justin invests 3,000 Rand into a savings account. So he invests 3,000 Rand into a savings account. After three years, his savings has accumulated to 5,400 Rand. What was the interest rate if the interest earned was simple interest? Okay, so again, we're going to write A is equal to P1 plus IN. We've got A, P, I and N. I really suggest you write these variables out like this because it really helps you with filling in. And also, often, admittedly at the moment, we're doing simple interest and we know we're doing simple interest because this lesson is on simple interest equations right but in the exams or in a test you might not know initially if you're doing a simple interest or compound interest but if you start writing down the information you get given as you do that you start realizing oh look this is actually a compound interest question or this is a simple interest question and then you know which equation to use so let's continue with this we say that Justin invests 3,000 rand so he's principal is 3,000 Rand. After three years, his savings has accumulated to 5,400. So that means that the number of years is three and he has accumulated 5,400 Rand. And they want to know what is his interest. Okay, so if we fill it in here, we've got 5,400 is equal to the principal of 3,000 times by 1 plus i times by 3. Okay, so what I would do is I would basically divide out the 3,000. There are lots of ways you can do this. You can either multiply this out first and then take it across. I'm going to divide both sides by 3,000. So let's divide both sides by 3,000. So if we do that, we get cancel, 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 cancel. And then if we don't know how to do it, we can pop it on our calculator. And we've basically got 54 divided by 30. And we end up with 1.8. So we've got 1.8 equals 1 plus 3i. So if we take this 1.8 across, we've got 1.8 minus 1 is equal to 3i.
So 1.8 minus 1 is 0, 0,8 is equal to 3i. So to get the interest, what do we do? We divide both the left-hand side and the right-hand side by 3. So again, we're going to get out our calculator and we're going to clear it and then we're going to go 0, 0.8 divided by 3 equals 0 0.266 which is 0 0.27 so therefore the i is equal to 0 0.27 but remember this is of the decimal type so what we need to do is change it into percentage and to change it to percentage we have to times this by 100 over 1 which becomes 27 percent right and that grade 10s is how simple interest works. It really is an easy concept, an easy thing to get right. But make sure that you can do it, practice some examples and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.